In this video, we will learn about driving the DT12 automated manual transmission in situations like steep downgrades that could result in overspeeding the engine. Unlike manual or other automated transmissions, the DT12 is likely to downshift when requesting engine brakes in order to maximize braking performance when driven in automatic mode. Depending on the model year of your vehicle, the transmission can downshift to a maximum engine RPM of between 2100 and 2300 RPM. A downshift can also occur automatically while in cruise control and descending a grade as the governor attempts to maintain speed. It is acceptable to operate the Detroit DD family of engines, the DD-13, DD-15, or DD-16 continuously up to 2300 RPM. Apply service brakes or upshift to limit or prevent time above 2300 RPMs. Never allow the vehicle to exceed 2500 RPMs or damage can occur. It is important to note that service brakes are the primary means to slow a vehicle. Engine brakes are secondary. The Detroit heavy-duty engine brakes are designed to retard the vehicle's velocity if the vehicle is driven at a speed appropriate for the grade and load. Unlike a manual transmission, the DT12 should be managed to a specific speed while in automatic mode. Best practice is 5 miles per hour less than the climb speed on the same grade or posted recommended speed, whichever is less. For those with manual control, it is still possible to operate the transmission in the traditional fashion. For example, descend the grade in the same gear or one gear less than the one used to climb it. If the vehicle is descending a grade at a speed that cannot be sufficiently maintained by the engine brakes, the vehicle will start to pick up speed. It is the responsibility of the operator to control momentum by applying service brakes. Unlike other automated transmissions, the DT12 will not automatically upshift to protect the powertrain. An upshift would only increase the rate of acceleration. If frequent use of the service brakes is required to maintain desired vehicle speed, the driver should snub brake to a lower vehicle speed until a downshift occurs. The lower gear will provide better control with the engine brakes. Repeat this process until service brake application is minimized or no longer required. It is recommended to slow the vehicle to a speed that can be controlled primarily by the powertrain. Start the descent at a speed suitable for the grade. As a reference point, a fully loaded 80,000-pound vehicle equipped with a DD-15 and DT-12 transmission can control vehicle speed automatically up to 35 miles per hour on an 8% grade. Service brake may still be occasionally required. At greater velocity, service brakes will be required to control speed. Never allow the vehicle to carry the engine above 2,500 RPM. Apply service brakes to prevent this warning. The instrument cluster will display a pre-warning message at 2300 RPM, reduce engine RPM, and a warning message coupled with an audible buzzer and check engine light at 2500 RPM. Critical, reduce engine RPM with a continuous beep. Virtual technician will send an email for these warnings. You should become familiar and comfortable with at least one recommended technique for operating a vehicle on a grade with a DT-12 cruise control, descent control, manual jake in automatic mode, and the more traditional method using manual control of gears and engine brake. It is important to remember that the driver is ultimately responsible for the safety of the tractor trailer, and that proper starting speed when descending a grade is as important as any other factor. <music>